Welcome to the Investment Markets Overview for the week ending 10 December 2021. The Central Bank of Ireland has increased its gold reserves by a third over the past couple of months, albeit that its total remains at a modest 8 tonnes. However, as a collective, year-to-date buying by central banks have totaled 393 tonnes by the end of the third quarter, more than double the comparable period in 2020. The Reserve Bank of India was the largest buyer in Q321 and 2021 looks set to be the largest annual increase in India's official gold reserves since 2009 according to the World Gold Council. While the Central Bank of Ireland has given no reason for the increase in its gold stockpile, its governor, Gabriel McClough, recently warned that policymakers cannot afford to be complacent on inflation. Interestingly, McClough was a private secretary to the former British Chancellor of the Exchequer, Gordon Brown, responsible for the disastrous UK gold sales at the 1999-2002 price all-time lows. The overview includes the performance statistics for the main stock indices, which were higher across the board, whilst sovereign bond yields and the commodities covered were mixed. With cryptos lower across the board, led by Chainlink's 21% slide. Meanwhile, on the regional front, U.S. nationwide rents continue to fall from the recent spike. EU poultry prices are on the rise. Whilst out east the Japanese economy is contracting as bank lending slows. As the consensus deludes itself that central banks actually control interest rates and inflation has only just started to rise, it's worth a glance at this chart courtesy of Elliott Wave International. It shows the 30-year U.S. Treasury bond yield, the cost for Uncle Sam to borrow from the market, an interest rate that has jumped by 15% over the past year, regardless of what the Fed does. Furthermore, note the inflation of non-financial corporate debt, which has more than doubled over the past 20 years. Maybe the four central banks and parade next week will react. A final performance table for the major stock indices since the year 2000 concludes the investment market's overview. A one-month trial of this 40 times per year publication is available for less than $15, or the price of just one decent cup of coffee per week. It's an ideal opportunity to grab the bargain discount for four publications. We strive to turn the technical into plain speaking observations, backed up by factual charts and context. Join us for a guide through the maze of economic and market data via the weekly five-page overview.